All right, hello, SPED602. Uh, yes, for my final discussion, I would like to discuss uh, overall professionalism, uh, professional judgment, and also self-reflection. So for the overall professionalism, one thing that comes to mind uh, is just the way I conduct myself when I'm on the clock and off the clock as a teacher. You know, as a teacher in society, people hold us to a higher standard. That the same thing with police officers, judges, and then uh, certain other professions. So even when you're on the clock, you know, you have to live by a certain code of ethics. And the same applies even when you're off the clock. I'm reminded of a story where I remember a teacher, she posted something on Facebook where she was just in a bikini and she was holding two things of beer. But, you know, with social media, you have to just be mindful of the way you act and even though you're not in class, you have to be mindful because your students are looking up to you, you know. You're like their second parent. Basically, you are their second parent during those eight hours. So they're looking up to you to make sure that you're walking in the right way. That way they can follow suit after you. Uh, the second uh, second thing I would like to discuss is professional judgment. And what comes to mind when I think of professional judgment is just, you know, collaborating with other people other teachers because collaboration as we talk about in the course is really really important uh, I think collaboration um, it also when you're collaborating you're avoiding competition because teachers shouldn't be comp competing with each other we're not working on commission we're working for the betterment of the students to make sure that they're being productive citizens that's where all that's our end goal so I think that teachers working together as a team and everybody you know helping each other uh, I think that's a really really good thing one of the best advice that was actually given to me uh, someone said don't try to reinvent the wheel Meaning, you know, teachers have already paved the way for me, so just take those ideas and use them. I don't have to try to create everything from scratch. I think that was one of, one of the best uh, pieces of advice given to me by a veteran teacher. And, of course, the last uh, pillar I would like to discuss is self-reflection. I think in this profession, we need to always stay up to par about... We need to always stay up to par on, you know, different practices and theories and things that work inside the classroom and just really, really looking at our practices to see where we can be improved because no one will ever be, you know, the greatest teacher. You know, we just need to sit back and focus on our strengths and also our weaknesses and see how we can actually, you know, polish those areas up a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, that's basically what I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, in, and that's all in this course.